Hi, my name is Nick. I'm from uh, Hamakaze in Marina del Rey. We are specialized in fine sushi and izakaya dishes. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your favorite shishito, sauteed shishito, with garnished with the uh, bonita flakes and uh, touched with soy sauce and sake. It's a very easy dish. I'll show you the way you can make at home with your own kitchen. Sushito is a very popular item in any sushi bar. Everybody loves it. It's crunchy, a little bit bitterness, and a little bit spice sometimes, but a very good appetizer before you start digging in sushi. Um, what I'm making now is a shishito, pan fried shishito. You can do it at home. I usually use a flyer or other equipment to make it easier for us, but this is for you to make it at home. First, you have to heat the pan and add a little bit more oil than it's supposed to be. It's more like a lightly fried kind. And wait for the uh, oil to heat up. Oil has to be pretty hot. Shishito peppers are widely available in especially oriental market. You may be able to buy it at uh, Trader Joe's or those gourmet market. And when you pick it, just try to pick the lightly green firm shishito. Some American market may have it, but it's already old, soggy, it's not gonna taste good. It has to have a crispness when you eat it. I'm using a canola oil and olive oil and half and a half, which is supposed to be healthier than regular soybean oil. It's flash frying, so it's easier for us to make it quick. This way, you got to wait a little bit each time, so it doesn't work with serving other customers. Here is the shishito, about the portion like this. See the sound? You have to have this sound when you put it in. It means oil is hot. And lightly stir it, and wait to see the skin turns a little bit whitish. Like this, a little burn. And uh, at this moment, you don't cook shishito too long. Just to make it like a sheer shearing outside. And it's a little bit puffing up a little bit like this. These things here. This is about the ready. And take the excess oil off. And you can use the same pan. And from here it has to be very quick. A little bit sake. A little bit soy sauce. Done. Mm, smells good, huh? Finish with dry bonita shapes. You can also get this one in the Oriental market or a Japanese market. This is it. Your favorite shishito. Thanks for visiting my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed how to make shishito. It's a very simple, easy dishes and good for your health and very easy to make. Next time, you can have my shishito at my place, Hamakaze, soon. I'm Nick from Hamakaze in Mario del Rey. You're watching Inside My Kitchen.